y'all. But yeah. guess what? We hanging out with Yeah. Greg Major. Boy, your voice is deep. Anything so sometimes, very sometimes white it's light. deep, and then sometimes it's not. I don't know. Okay. But see, you it's was like ready for this. Yeah, he dr- yeah. He, he was like, Greg Major. I don't even think I could I really do it. wasn't ready. You really caught me off guard. <laughs> well, you always seem ready. I don't understand. Greg, I, I just play it cool. That's he was all. born ready. That's all. He was born ready. <laughs> yes. So, this is another Truth Talks Hangout, and we are so excited because Greg is our videographer. He is one of the reasons. He is the reason. The reason. Why we have a place to record, to produce these episodes. Absolutely. Greg is the brains. He keeps us together. He be doing all these hand motions. I learned sign language because of Greg. Like, he be all like, <laughs> like this. he be all like, uh, I'm like what is that? <laughs> like, we, we be looking <laughs> like, what are you saying, Greg? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> we, be, we be recording and be like, like, huh? Like, should I be moving over? Oh, I need to move over. Oh. Right, right. Oh, that's what that means. I just means. don't want the mic blocking your face. That's all. Thank you, Greg. Y'all every... get your hair done and your makeup done. Don't yes. have a mic blocking your face. Okay. That's all I'm saying. And another thing, yeah. every time there's yeah. a need, a need, Greg be supplying yeah, it. Like, if we need out. another mic, he be hey, like, to God be the glory. That's all I can say. First, he be like, no. <laughs> and then we come back, it'd be like three mics. Right. And then a whole new <laughs> Right. A whole, like, new lights. It'll always be something. So, hey, we look, really appreciate I'm trying, you. I'm trying to take it to the top. Thank you. <laughs> so, if you guys are looking top. for a place, a studio that's quality with great sound, great uh, video quality, great mu- everything, great like everything you need, everything, editing, Editor, everything, everything. Greg Gurry, I call him Gregory. Gurry. I like to I like to <laughs> add the if on certain people's right. names when it matches. Mm-hmm. So I call him Gregory. However, <laughs> Gregory nice. Brown is here. This is a great day. We're excited. Yes. Mm-hmm. He has great news to share with us. Ooh. I do have great news. Yes. Yeah, and he's yeah. so chill. Like he's Third. so humble. Like Greg is like a like a statue. Like he's I just, just like I just do he's like the male is. statue of liberty. Like he just be there. Like <laughs> he just be like. Uh, look at the face. Look at the face. Look at the face. Look at the face. <laughs> I can't breathe. Like I was holding my breath. I can't like, breathe. But yeah. So <laughs> great. Yeah. No, God is good. Um. Got my third album coming out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Third Ooh. album coming out. Mm-hmm. It's called Double Portion: The uh-huh. Alter Ego, and okay. I'm excited about it. February twenty second, yes. twenty twenty two, two twenty two, twenty two. Get ready. Them listen. Two, so. D- two, two, listen. Two, 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 two. See, somebody gonna shout on that. Come on. That's mm. a word. Cause somebody, I'm sure <laughs> some, some pastor somewhere gonna get a prophetic about word two. about them twos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're gonna be like, and somebody yeah. gonna be like, if you sow two two twenty two, then you gonna be blessed, and God gonna do what He said He gonna do. <laughs> and then the album come out on two two two, and they bless. Yeah. Woo! yeah. So, Greg, mm-hmm. from my understanding, you have a very powerful testimony, mm-hmm. and you don't even—you're not even afraid to share it. You're not even right. ashamed to share it. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know the full story. I only know snippets, bits and pieces. But Nicole, who's your friend, you guys have been friends for a long time. She knows all about, about it. Ten years. Now. I want to hear. Twelve years. <laughs> how you came to Christ? Yeah. Okay, well, you gonna have to grab a Snickers. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. Because <laughs> it's a it's a long story. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I'm gonna try to give you the Reader's Digest version. Okay, I'm here for that. Yeah. So, um, taking it all the way back, you know, I grew up in church. My mm-hmm. mom brought me to church. Mm-hmm. That's what people did mm-hmm. back mm-hmm. then. We went to church mm-hmm. on Sundays, and you know, we would go. We weren't really like an every Sunday family, but mm-hmm. I sang in the choir and we okay, went sing. some other days. That. Okay, we, sing. We get a good two out of four of them, of them Sundays, you know what I mean? Sometimes <laughs> right. we hit all four, four of them, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Sometimes okay. we hit all four. Don't but, let it be um, a five Sunday, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely not coming off this Sunday. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ass, so, so I, I, I went to church and even though I did that, my household wasn't really like Christian. Okay. You know, like my mom and dad, I never saw them read the Bible. I'm not mm-hmm. saying they never read it, but mm-hmm. didn't really see that. Um, a lot of stuff I didn't witness as far as what I know now as a Christian lifestyle. It was more so like Christian in namesake. I got you. You know, you. and me and my mom would go. My dad, none of the men on my street even went to church. Bless God. What street was that? <laughs> I said Amen. none of them went to church. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I was like, wait, did bless you the Lord? Lord? <laughs> yeah, yeah, none of them. What street of them. was that, Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> no, I take that gold. back. One, so. one family went to church, Mr. Whitlock. Him you and know his, his wife. name? name Come on now, that sounds like Mr. Rogers. Oh, oh, like, I, I grew up on like a, a day in the neighborhood. I grew up in Northeast DC, oh, Deanwood okay. right. area. Okay, my mom's okay. 
okay. still lives there. Okay. But my street was like. Don't tell them the street now because you just said your mom lived no, there. No, I'm not going to tell them the street. <laughs> I'm about to tell them about the street. Yes, tell us about the street. <laughs> You'll probably be like. The street. Like, like oh, my house, house was egg darling. Greg told somebody. Yeah. They, they ain't go to church. Yeah, my, my, my family, they, my parents were boomers. <laughs> Okay. So they had me at 35. Boom. They were the boomers. So that street was middle class family. I got you. So anyway. Family got a piece of get, that pie. Exactly. Get to about 12 or 13. I need to not hit the table. <laughs> get to about Amen. 12 or 13 yes. years old. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's when complex thinking begins to mm-hmm. happen for children. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you're no longer just regurgitating what you hear. Right. You are now actually taking collecting ideas and combining them to formulate your own thoughts and opinions Mm -hmm. and so once i started doing that god didn't make sense to me wow so from the age of about 13 all the way up to 28 i was not saved as a matter of fact i kind of regressed into just being an atheist i didn't believe in god i was i would fluctuate between atheist and agnostic Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. So long story short, because um, I want to talk about this album. Okay, we do, yeah, this, this could be a, like an hour long episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but long story short, um, you know, uh, around the age of 28, mm-hmm. um, it was my time for God to shake me up and mm-hmm. for me to be who he had ordained me to be. Yes. So the way he did it was very dramatic mm-hmm. because I was so set in my ways. Mm-hmm. You know, I was so set in my thoughts. I pretty much believe what I believe. Mm-hmm. And m- my friends and I went to Vegas. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, it was boy. one of our birthdays. Oh, boy. And we went there to do Vegas. some Vegas stuff. You went there to Vegas. We went to Vegas. And um, in Vegas, they say what happens in it Vegas stays, stays in Vegas. In Vegas. It stays there. But apparently God thought otherwise because while I was in Vegas... Um, God revealed himself to me. Wow. And just okay. to be transparent about it, you know, I got a hold of some some of the, some stuff, you know, some weed, just to be straight up. Um wasn't laced with anything, you know, but and I had smoked weed before, like that I used to do that occasionally. I wasn't like a weed head, but mm-hmm. you know, I dibble and dabble. Uh but I, I don't know, it was the West Coast, so maybe it was something different. That was some weed weed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Vegas um, weed, some bead. Yeah, uh-huh. and the long and short of it is I just started really tripping out, mm-hmm. like really having a real episode. My friends had to stay with me in the hotel and everything, and it was so funny because we had went on trips to like Atlanta and Miami and stuff like that, and for whatever reason, we just weren't going out on Saturday nights. Like mm-hmm. we didn't be too tired or too drunk. I don't know what it was, and so one of my friends, Troy, he was like, I don't care what happens. We're going out Saturday night in <laughs> Vegas. Wow. We're in, and the night I started tripping out was Saturday night. When y'all oh went out. Goodness. When yeah. you wasn't well, supposed to go yeah, out. We didn't you go wasn't out. Supposed- yeah. And so so wow. I think he ended up staying back with me. Most of them stayed back with me. Then some of them might have. I don't know what they did because I was just out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Long and short of it, God tells me to go back to church. So at this point, I now believe in God. Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely not converted, definitely not born again Mm -hmm. compared to what I know now, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. So get back to D.C. Three months later, literally the same thing happens. But this time I end up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. In the hospital, God reveals himself even more. And now he actually uh, converted me. Like I was Mm -hmm. filled with the Holy Spirit, started speaking in tongues uncontrollably. In the hospital? In the hospital, in the emergency room, in the wow. emergency room. And so ever since then, you know what I mean? God has been moving in my life, and I'm grateful. My ministry, the Manifestation Movement, um, as well as this new thing he has me doing, yes. which is Greg Major yes, Music. Yes, yes, yes. So I, mm-hmm. I, this came totally out of left field, mm-hmm. totally out of left field. And it's just been exciting. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been exciting. It's been one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Mm-hmm. Seriously, Amazing. I think it's like like God giving a gift to me. Yes. But I'm using it for his glory. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I was going to say that is probably the most one of the exciting things because, you know, as, I, as Kiki alluded to, I've known you for a long time. But to truly see joy in you in a way I've never experienced or seen before it's, 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 it's a huge difference and I can see the difference. You know, it's one thing to enjoy that's, the world yeah, and to have yeah. fun and party and woo, woo, woo. And that's 
fun, but when you come to Christ, it's a whole nother kind of fun. Like this is sustainable fun. Like when I'm doing work for the Lord, it's mm-hmm. fun. When I'm recording, it's fun. Right. I'm sharing my love right. of Christ right. and helping people. I enjoy it. But not only is it glorifying God, but you're actually having fun. Right. Like yeah. you literally right. love this. Right. And so I think that for me is what makes this album even that much more special. Mm-hmm. And it is called Double portion. Yes, double, double portion, portion, the alter ego. Yeah. And if you know the story in the Bible, absolutely, Elijah mm-hmm. um, was going to be taken up. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. In a whirlwind. Mm-hmm. And he was. And Elisha mm-hmm. had to follow him. Yes. And he was like... You know, I want a double portion of your spirit. And he was just like, well, in order to do that, you can't take your eyes off me when I get taken up. Mm -hmm. So he, Elijah, gets taken up and then he passes the mantle down Mm -hmm. to Elisha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, Elisha actually performed twice as many miracles as Elijah. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, what this album kind of represents for me is a season of growth. Mm-hmm. You know, where mm-hmm. I almost want to go to the next level to almost do like twice as well as I did before. Right, right, right. So right. that's kind of, this is my third project. My first one was, my first two were in 2020. One came out April of 2020, mm-hmm. which was the Foolish Greg album. Mm-hmm. That was my first beginner, mm-hmm. in, you know, intro that's album. That's amazing. By the way. That's ama- you said April 2020. So that was right around the time when the pandemic really first hit. So that's amazing to produce something like that right. at a time where it was needed the most. Yeah, it was a lot <laughs> going on at that point. And I I had actually started uh, working from home mm-hmm. the March of that year. Yeah, so it kind of yeah. freed me up to get it out. But up uh-huh. until that point, God was just giving me songs and things like that. Right, and right, it was so right. new to me because it was out of left field. Mm-hmm. How I even started with this. I was seeking the Lord about my calling. Yeah. You know, I was seeking, okay, Lord, you I got, you kind of gave me this ministry. What exactly, I knew what he wanted me to do, but what exactly am I? What does it mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What does it look like? But what is what is my office? Like, yeah. what yeah. what yeah. role yeah. am You're I functioning in? Yeah. Yeah. And so I did a, by the grace of God, I did a three-day dry fast because mm-hmm. oh, I was yeah. desperate. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And wow. on the third day of my three-day dry fast, I was at Addison Road Station. My normal commute home, this was probably like maybe 2019, 2018, 2019. Anyway, I think it was late 2018. But anyway, I, this guy sees me and he's just like, hey, are you a Christian? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah. And he begins to prophesy to me. Wow. And he begins to tell me things that he wants me to do. Mm-hmm. And one of them, he was like, I'm sensing a strong musical anointing. Wow. Wow. Now, that was totally out of left field mm-hmm. because I'm not a singer. I didn't play any instruments. And at that time, I didn't even know, like, Christian rap wasn't even in my frame of frame of reference. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I didn't even know how God felt about Christian rap because a lot of the ministers I watch and stuff, they don't really endorse or support Christian rap. And that's their prerogative, right? right. Mm-hmm. But I just didn't even know. That wasn't even, like, in my thinking process right Mm -hmm. (laughs) and so I had a few dreams about instruments and stuff Mm -hmm. one I was playing a piano the other one I was playing a guitar Mm -hmm. and so I went out and I bought a piano wow it's sitting somewhere in my house wow and (laughs) (laughs) basically what ended up happening was uh I thought the Lord was going to anoint me supernaturally and it just never happened that way So I put that down, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then the Lord started giving me these little artistic things, right? These songs. I didn't know that they were songs at the time, but he started, he gave me a song Mm -hmm. and I was like, I don't want this to be spoken word because everybody does that. And I don't want this to be rap because I just don't know how God feels about that. But I put it to some music. It was kind of like this weird thing called The House Always Wins. It was a symbolic project about how the casino is like the world Mm. meaning that there's no windows in there you can't see light they don't want you to know what time it is Mm -hmm. they they Mm -hmm. send scents through the vents to get you to stay longer to appeal to your senses you're teaching me yeah Yeah, i didn't know that they they give you free 
uh, like basically free alcohol in the, some of the casinos and stuff like that. So it's designed to just keep you, keep you in this, wow. entice you and keep you in this stupor, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even know. You you could be in a casino and it'll feel like night, mm-hmm. but you walk outside and it's like broad daylight. Wow. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I put that out. It was like received with mixed results. And, you know, because I don't think people really understood it. Mm-hmm. And what I recognized in hindsight was it was supposed to be a song. Mm-hmm. So somebody was like, it was cool, but make a part two. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right, bet. You want me to make a part two? I'm going to make a part two. Mm-hmm. And I wrote it in one day. Mm-hmm. And then after I wrote it, I was just like saying it. And I was like, this is a song. Mm-hmm. This is a song. And so then I found a beat on YouTube because hmm. I didn't know where to get beats. Yeah, yeah. So the only beat that fit w- at that time was this song called, it, it was an instrumental called Heaven or Hell. Mm. Mm. Okay. And I started okay. practicing it. And what ended up happening was I kind of did that and the Lord started giving me more songs. Mm-hmm. So I spent almost like a year praying to make sure I was hearing the Lord the right way because mm-hmm. once again, I didn't know how he felt about Christian yes, rap. Yes, yes. And so, um, anyway, Foolish Greg happened April 2020, later on that same year, working from home, Mm -hmm. put out uh, Second Wave, which was my second project, um, and the rest is history. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. And look at how much happened during the pandemic. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, we talked about this, you know, last month. Yeah, it's been viewed (laughs) in a negative light. And of course, you know, so many people lost their lives. So much has happened as it relates to death, but also things were produced. Like, life happened during a pandemic, too. Mm, like, people birthed so businesses, birth, yeah. music. And, and going back to um, how God feels about Christian rap, um, I, I honestly feel, and it makes me think of the scripture, um, I think it's in Corinthians, Second Corinthians or something. Um, Paul said, I become all things for all to, people. Oh, to win some. Yeah, to win mm-hmm. some. So if you, you have to become that rapper to win mm-hmm. or that playwright to win or the poet or the, the, the novel right. You know, you have to become whatever you need to become to win. Yeah. And that was that was huge for me. Yeah. Because there's a lot of layers to my personality, but like you say, I'm ba- yeah. most people basically see me as the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And you know, I'm a little bit intellectual, and Smart. I got my ministry. I'm mm-hmm. teaching Bible study, and everybody kind of sees me as like, wanna know what I like kind of like the D, the the hood DC nerd. Like even yeah. in DC, the nerds can still rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. but it was it took a lot for me to Christian common. <laughs> right. It took a lot for me to get over the hurdle of what people would think and feel about me rapping. And I understand that. I like understand. I knew that is well because before I was saved, I listened to the worst of the worst rap mm-hmm. all day, yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. Three six mafia. Three uh, yeah, three six them. mafia, cash, cash money. money. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. No limit. I loved all that um now. Basically, a down south stuff. Mm-hmm. And I actually, when I got saved and had that conversion experience, I I just stopped listening to all rap, like mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it makes. And I, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I like that. I like that you're a witness of Greg's transformation. Like because oh, me, yes. Aren't like you, I mean, yeah. I've I've known him prior to Christ and after. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think that you're Christ a witness to life, it, like to see I him like change, to, see it, but I get what to, you mean. to attest to how he's grown, how he's mature, you know, and we all should be growing yeah. and we should have people around us to say, oh yeah, I recognize the change in you. Like you said that earlier, that you recognize Greg's growth. And I think that matters. It helps when you have like a cheerleader or someone cheering you on, <laughs> like good job, yeah. you know? She, and I don't know if I've ever said this to you publicly, which you'll have not now, but it, it, it amazes me because to see him in a place where, see Greg's always been in- intelligent regardless, mm-hmm. But when it comes to Christ, it was kind of like, okay, yeah, well, you know, it was, wasn't was important at the time. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, when he, I'm, yeah, when you, okay, if somebody put a fire up under you and you, mm-hmm. you're going to run, you're not <laughs> yeah. going to just, well, well, I'm going to take, no, he, when I say he took off, he was like, look, I, look, I don't understand everything. Yeah. I got questions. Yes. And he was so humble to be like, Nicole, what's this mean? The word says, okay, so what is this? What is it? But say so he reading, mm-hmm. but he asking questions and he studying. I mean, I remember, and this is probably going to bring me tears, but he, hmm, I ain't never seen somebody on fire for God that way, but don't, don't let me, y'all might cry, but <laughs> he literally was like, I'm cutting this off. 
diss off relationships, mm-hmm. friendships, mm-hmm. people who he genuinely, truly cared about. I was like, nope. I, I think about the man that sacrificed all to follow Christ. Mm-hmm. That's yep. what you did. Yep. Yep. You did that. He said, look, I'm yep. done. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I don't even know what this looks like. I don't know. what. I, right. But I'll figure that part out later. Right. right. And at some points, I know it brought him down to tears. Like, this is a lot. But my salvation is so important. Yes. And so we would have conversation. And he would ask questions and he would grow. But here's the kicker. See how good God is? You went through that process. But you were also pulling on what I didn't know what was in me. Because I'm thinking, well, man, I don't know that either. Let me try mm-hmm. to. But then it got to a point where I'm like, hey, Greg, what does this mean? Greg, so now you're asking him, Craig, that's exactly. amazing. Exactly. So that's you see amazing. how things shifted. Yeah. Yes, I yes. I did wrong. Shifted. Yes. Okay. Anyway, you <laughs> Whatever know what I'm it did. Whatever shifted. happened. <laughs> and <laughs> I can't do it around the mic. So he was asking me questions. And now I'm like, hey, Greg, what do you think about that? Greg, how do, I, how do I, how do I? You see what I'm saying? Yes. Holy Spirit is progressive. Yes. And yes. I feel like we were there for each other during mm-hmm. a time to help mm-hmm. you help pull, pull out of me what I didn't know what was right. in me right. and now you've just shoo, and I'm like whoa hold up so wait yes. a minute yeah, yeah so glory he's to always God. been wise yeah. but it was about the things of the world but now it's about the things of Christ yeah and people are blessed not only by your testimony but by what you're now producing and you know when God is on it because when I tell you this man can drop a song like mm-hmm. bloop bloop I, bloop, yes. bloop 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 <laughs> I'm like sir like, I just buy your last album right <laughs> right <laughs> I'm trying to look, I'm trying to be like no limit man like I, not to be all worldly and all <laughs> well, that but fine. Master B would have like an album <laughs> exactly. then you open up the album cover and, and it'd be like 15 but, albums right, coming exactly. I'm trying to be like that right so <laughs> right. you know by the grace of God um, yeah. but yeah to your point Nicole it's like um you know uh i've always been the statue you know what i mean and so so in my salvation experience it might not always be as visible on the outside Mm -hmm. because man look at the outside so i can't be like i'm not in god bless these people but i'm not the person with like a bunch of tattoos on my face or Mm -hmm. i was like heavy in the streets Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. you know now it's like you could just like night and day but it was night and day in a different way right. just by the zeal that the Lord had placed in me. Yeah. And I praise God for that. You know, but yeah. but that's why it was also yeah. a challenge musically to produce the sound that I produce. Right. Cause 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 some of my stuff is real hmm. so my stuff is heavy on theme. It's very heavy yes. on theme. Yes, yes, yes. The word yes. Very yeah. heavy on yeah, the storytelling. Parallels. Yeah, the parallels between the metaphor. um, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah metaphors and schemes and stuff like it's that. Bomb. But at the same time, I still have a lot of stuff that's kind of like a little lit, a little hype. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like, that's all I like, right. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. 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 I got to have a little, you know what I'm saying? A little thump you're, to it. Because you're appealing all people. Exactly. You know, you're appealing all people. And one thing I wanted to say is that I'm glad that you were open to receive from a stranger. Because yeah. a lot of people still cannot receive prophecy. Like, they don't think that prophetic words are for this day. Mm. And I, I like, I'm going to say this. If a complete stranger come up to me hmm. and say something and they're accurate, and even if it's something that God hasn't spoken to me yet, yes. yes, we know that it has some truth to it. And I wouldn't, like, dismiss it. So I'm glad that you didn't dismiss the prophetic word because mm. would you be here right now? Right. Like, wow. Would we be blessed because of that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Lord to God. You Ooh, know, it's like, amazing. you know, I had expectancy. I went on that fast mm-hmm. and I had expectancy. Yes. And my thing is when somebody gives you a word, all you can do is pray about it. Right. You know, right. you pray about it. You can make a choice right there to receive it, but you don't have to receive it right there on the spot. Mm-hmm. You can just, okay, boom, somebody say something to you. Okay, all right, I'll pray about it. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Right. You know, it's to me, it's no harm, no foul. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're talking about like, hey, let me lay hands on you, or sometimes right. even let me pray with you and mm-hmm. I don't know you, it's like, ah. Right, because you know. then we tapping into dimensions and stuff. And right. I'm not sure if I want to spiritually be like, you know, but if Spiritual someone Spiritual transaction. Exactly. But if you yeah. releasing something, I can say I reject it. In my, you know, I'm just saying, yeah, but yeah, it's like, yeah. I receive it or yeah. I reject it. Right, right, yeah. right. Like, you right. know, touch Don't touch me, me now. now. I'm all. Don't touch me. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. Right, that's, that yeah. definitely is some it's, sort of exchange that you don't know absolutely. about. Absolutely. wonder why you fighting things. Absolutely. Wow. Exactly. But uh, another thing that I think is powerful is yeah. fasting. Because if you hadn't have been, well, first mm-hmm. off, obedience. But if you hadn't have fast, like you said, you want to dry fast for three days. Yeah. Your spirit, your 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 physical flesh was denied. You were completely empty for you to receive on the third day. Mm-hmm. That in itself, yes. on the third day, like, that in itself is powerful. You know, that was back when I was had that zeal. I need to get yeah. back to that. I had to get back to that <laughs> zeal. I'm trying yeah. to get back there. You know what I mean? I st- I love the Lord. 
But I mean, like Nicole said, when I first, I shot out like a cannon. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to That's get amazing. back to we that. talk all day That's long, amazing. Greg, about stuff. Yeah. Just all day. I'd be over here, leaving it. Like, it, it'd just be, you know, we would have our little pizza. And talk. Mm-hmm. It was, I think mm-hmm. I'd be eating crabs. But it would just be about God. And it was so refreshing because our whole relationship, you know, brother, sisterhood just shifted mm-hmm. because our yeah. conversation was different. And right? Nicole was the only person that would ask me to come to church. Wow. <laughs> all my other friends was heathens. We, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true. What's it, true? it is true. You're the only person that I can remember that <laughs> used to. I don't want to say you pressed me out about coming to church, but you asked me repetitively. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think it's because I said I was going to go, okay. and then she's like, "Hey, she you said you was going to mm-hmm. church." Yeah, that played over. <laughs> that played over. Remember that played? I you do. Was but I was saved by then. Yeah. Saved. Yeah. 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 Wow. And Man. here's the thing: like every time he learned something about the Lord, he would share with others. Yes. And it was just, and it's amazing yes. how even in the classroom when you learn something Mm -hmm. when you really know it you can now not only apply it but teach teach it it to others so he knew and he could apply it to these situations so i think that just kind of even brings the word it makes it much more rich richer Mm -hmm. to your experience because Mm -hmm. it's like the word says this oh but now i see how it fits in my life right and i can help them so it it, is it's and it just our whole our exchange was just totally different you Mm -hmm. know and it was it was blessing me Mm -hmm. because of what god would show you and i'm Mm -hmm. like wow yeah, this praise is a blessing God. to me, and then we get to enjoy this music. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you to sing Album or rap. Nah, like, I'm, I don't like, think I, I'm. Yeah, I, I put maybe we can play something one other time. Like maybe we can play some music uh, yeah. when we close out. You know, let yeah, them hear we some hanging stuff. out right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 we can get your below. album. <laughs> so it'll be on all major streaming platforms. Um, you know, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, music, whatever you like to listen to on. February 22nd, yes. Double Portion, The Alter Ooh. Ego by Greg Major. My Instagram is at Greg Major Music. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And same with Facebook. And um, yeah, so that's where they can get it. I will be doing a giveaway. Okay. I was literally yeah, I will be doing a, a giveaway to uh-huh. promote okay. the project. Absolutely. So you'll, you'll tune into the Greg Major YouTube channel. It's called mm-hmm. Greg Major Music to figure out how you can participate in that giveaway. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna give away. What you think? Two hundred or three hundred dollars? Say what? Wait, wait. Let's can, start can with we, us first. Can we participate in that? You can't. Can, well, we, like, well, yeah. You means... you on one of the songs. What? The, so, oh, so you exam- I'm not on a song. So how <laughs> can I? You can participate. How can I? Participate? <laughs> I think you can still participate. You think? Nah, no participants. You make the executive nah, decision. No, no album and then participants. Just split in it and this, I was on the so album. I haven't I, I haven't put out the yet. instructions yet, but I'm gonna give y'all a sneak preview Don't since okay. since this is Truth Talks TV. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna drop the exclusive on you. Right. Yeah. It's it's gonna be kind of like a little fill in the blank. Okay. Oh, a little fill in the blank with the lyrics. I'm... So, <laughs> so <laughs> no, it's going to no. be like at least 10 questions. Oh, what is this? So, okay. so all you got to do okay. is stream the album, mm-hmm. find a lyric, fill in the blank. Okay, okay. And okay. if you're the first person to get it to me, you win $100. That's what's up. Or right? maybe even the and first Greg, three people. It depends on, it depend on yeah. what Nicole say. Oh. But you gotta you got if she okay. say two hundred it'd be two hundred. If she say three hundred, then I had three winners. So yeah, the giveaway, as I was saying, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a simple fill in the blank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but they gotta listen to the, the album. first three people that email it to me, each of them will win a hundred dollars. That, that are correct. That are correct. That are correct. Yeah, correct. my bad. That are correct. Don't be filling be right. in the words. If you're not correct, it. I'm gonna try to email you back and be like, hey, <laughs> right, check check number seven. Yeah. I can't promise. Well, at least you're that. trying to help them. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm trying to help. helping. You know, but it's to me, it's an easy hundred dollars, okay. right? Because yeah. think about it like I'm this. About to get that. Think about it like this. The project, the project gonna have about thirteen songs, about three minutes each. It's not gonna be any more than like fifty minutes, right? Right, right. right. That's an hour. You can do that an hour. Mm-hmm. So if you make. Would you work a job where you work a hundred dollars? Where you make a wow. hundred dollars an hour? Mm. Absolutely. Oh yes. So take one oh, hour, yes. stream the album, mm-hmm. find the answer. As soon as you find the answer, you can skip to the next song. Right. Because, because, <laughs> I mean, I, I want you. I mean, I we want, want you to listen see, to the right, whole song, the whole listen. album, I, and be blessed by it. I want to make it easy, but you know what I'm saying. I want to make yeah. it easy. Yeah. 
So my thing is, you like, want to give some easy money. Y'all get that gonna, easy yeah. money, and man. And I was gonna say for one of our listeners joining in, you and I could even potentially gift them the album. I'm here so, for that. I mean, I'm here for that. We're helping you as much as we can. And I'm we here for that. Great. You know, actually, actually have a, I have a I have a quite I have a trivia me. question. Okay. That, that someone could win the album. Yeah. Oh, you. We, if, oh, we, you we, have we, a we, trivia we, question. Yeah. So we, we're gonna we, we're gonna seed. We're we, gonna you know gift your album. We're gonna pay for it. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna Someone. we're gonna gift it to a person who can correctly answer this trivia question. But mm-hmm. they they should have listened to this episode because you um stated. My Absolutely. question has come to mind. So, do you, you think I should say it now, or should I put it on the? Should I post I it? Want, well, you, you do what you want to do. I'm curious, okay. but I'm just listening. So, um, I don't want to say the. Okay, so this is the the trivia question. Mm-hmm. What age was Greg when he had his encounter with Christ? All right, type it below. Wow. What type age? Below, and we want to see how that old? number. Yep. The first person that yes. comments under this video. Yes. First person. Yes. I did say it in this. You definitely in this said it. You did. I definitely, you definitely did. said. I hope definitely y'all was listening. Yeah. So oh, if you want to win, rewind. right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but if you make sure the other person didn't type it first. Right, right. you did. If you I hope y'all listen and paid but this attention. How, this how easy the giveaway is. Yeah. If it's thirteen songs, mm-hmm. don't tell them. You take seven songs. You take six songs. So we just won automatically. We ain't even got to listen to the whole thing. Greg, don't, don't. Just I'm <laughs> trying to make it He want easy. people to win. Greg just wants you to I'm win. Trying just to give him all $100. That's what I'm like. Hey, you, get $100. you get $100. You get $100. I wish you get $100. I could be Oprah and just be like, You get $100. Hey, you get $100. But you get $100. I ain't got it like that. Not yet. Not first. yet. Not yet. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, But I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Yeah. We're excited for you. Yeah. excited for you. Congratulations. As you give us the rights, we'll play it. Okay. Some of our sessions, Facts. And our episodes when we Facts. record. Facts. Most definitely, Facts. most. I'm trying to think which songs on there you would like. I mean, failure to launch. Yeah, yeah I think that's probably one of my favorites. You <laughs> really? Know? Yeah. And that just so happens to be the one that. <laughs> I want. No. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so yeah. excited. Y'all heard "Runaway." I think I performed yes. that one once. Yes. So yeah, that's that on one. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's there's some others, though. Heavy themes. Can you give us some names and topics and themes that you're talking about? Man, Just a little. let me see. I know it's uh, getting kind of Yeah, so I'm gonna make songs. I'm going to make them quick. Yeah. You know, um, so uh, you mentioned failure to launch. To me, that's kind of like some of the challenges that come with doing, you know, fulfilling mm-hmm. your purpose in mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, God desires for us to fill that pur- for, to fulfill that purpose. Absolutely. But obviously the devil wants to still kill and destroy. Mm-hmm. That's his mission. But Jesus said, I came to give you life in that much yes. more abundant. Yes. Right. So that's definitely one, um, you know. Uh, so, oh, I forgot to mention. So part of the theme of double portion, there's a lot of part twos to a lot of songs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like uh, one song about the wilderness. I don't mm-hmm. know if either of you have been through a wilderness season in oh, your yes. walk, but the wilderness oh, yeah. two was on there. Um, Ten for your hat is on there. I talk a little bit about oh, my little conspiracy theories. Um, yeah. Man, uh, holy on, holy walk two is ooh, on there. That was on. That's uh, a little uh, fun dance. Greg. Yeah, I remember the. the, the I love the holy walk. Yeah, sec- yeah, second wave. Yep. Second, oh, second yeah. wave. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> many. It's all right. It's all right. So oh, many. Guess I didn't win the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that's a little fun dance song, Holy Walk to. Show us the dance. Um and I, I, love I, the dance. I I show you the video. <laughs> All right, well we um, may post it for y'all to see. We post it throughout the week. Yeah. yeah so make sure Join y'all support. In. Support our to. people, yeah, support definitely. our man. Have to. You know, um, men aren't always viewed in a positive light. But this man is doing something. So support. Right. He ain't support. going out here making bunches of kids right. and stuff and not right. paying child support. He, he got zero albums. kids. Not, not right, no, he, got he got albums. Zero that I'm aware of. Zero. Whoa. <laughs> oh, well, we need to have another conversation. No, we, what happened yeah, to Vegas again? Yeah, yeah this, it's all prior to Vegas. Okay. 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 All right. So but you may have some Hopefully none. Around. Hopefully none. If, if you, you, if you Greg's daughter. son or daughter. That, that's a fear in the back of my Hold mind, though. Does somebody, if you're Greg's son or daughter... I, he can be reached at that happened five, to five, my five, that happened to five, my five, uncle. Five, five. It happened to my uncle just real quick. I know this is totally off topic. It's okay though. But, but it's, he it's birthing who you are. Well, he worked Birth. in a hospital. He works in a hospital, oh, but th- he was at a different hospital this time. Mm-hmm. Sees a woman that he used to deal with, mm-hmm. and she's just like, "You're the father of my son. You is the baby daddy. Fifty. 
<laughs> he was about he's he's so the same means, age as me. Oh, oh th- he's the same age as me. So I think when he found out, he was probably like thirty one or thirty. Oh, this was several man. years ago. Wow. And um, they did a DNA test. You are the and father. And he was the father. <laughs> That's Maury Porvich. For you. Yeah. And so um, this, the Ooh. son, which I found to be my cousin, wow. actually wrote a book about it. That's it's amazing. called okay. Finding Chris, My Father, or Finding My Father, Chris, or something wow. like that. Wow. By Vincent uh, White. I would love to talk wow. to Vince White or something like that. Anyway, to that's totally to off now. topic. No, he, I mean, that was applicable, though. I mean, yeah. it was. Yeah. Definitely. It, so it's been like a fear in the back of my mind. I hope it wow. don't. I don't think I have any kids at all. But, but if the you thought do. has crossed my mind. Said, but, if but if you do. But since I've known the Lord, I can be confident. Ooh, like, you Yes, know. Lord. Mm-hmm. So maybe yeah. we do a three-day fast for that. <laughs> dry. <laughs> dry. 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 So we wear work. No, no joking, water, right, no right. food. No joking, no joking. <laughs> you got to go to this metro station see yeah. what they say. See, see, what, see what they say to you. See what's said. Let's go to suit land this time. Come back. Go to suit land this time. Yep, yep. Well... Oh, right. we're so excited. Like, we're so happy for you. Can't yes. wait to hear the album. Can't wait to see myself win that hundred dollars. You know, how you going? Cl- well, I guess it's three winners. So yes. I can be this. I'm gonna be one. one. You can't, you need to disqualify because you're on the Y'all album. Both stream at teamwork. Great, why don't you just give us a hundred dollars? Why don't you just give us a hundred dollars? He wants so us well, to well, get it because we're gonna get it at 222 exactly. at 1159 p.m. <laughs> yes, or 220 uh, at 12 a.m. Literally, oh, yes. I gotta look out for the West Coast people, so I'm gonna let y'all know okay. the time. Oh, okay, come okay. on, you know, that's I their fault. They was born in California. Appreciate that. <laughs> right, 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 right. We East Coast, so y'all go ahead to stay up. Okay? Right, <laughs> exactly. Stay woke. Stay, stay woke. woke. <laughs> in the voice of then what? Right. Stay woke. <laughs> oh my goodness, we could laugh all day. Hang really out so like that. Yes, that's what chilling, hangout is, chilling. y'all. Well, it's been a <sighs> great hangout. My stomach. You know, I'm always hungry. We always trying to eat. <laughs> like. It's we about to all go eat. Y'all ready to go some eat? Look, we need I've to celebrate your album. Then. Like, see, Greg been ready. I was already he was, That three-day fast, that, that, <laughs> that dry fast, he, you still feel remnants of it. I from must years feel ago. something. Yeah, yeah from, from years, years ago. ago. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. We, we to go, go to eat, Addison y'all. Road. This eat. was a great hangout. We're going to have to bring some food next time because I don't know if yeah. I can make yeah. it. Yeah, thank y'all for having me. I really appreciate it. you. Well, I mean, thank you for having us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, if you really want to be technical. We appreciate you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Whew. this has been another Truth Talks Hangout. Hangouts. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Make sure you get Greg's album. Please support, support, support. He appreciates you. Excellent. We appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Peace. All right, peace.